All right, folks, welcome back to another exciting episode of Adventures in Dog Training with American Standard Dog Training and DIYK9.com. And in this exciting episode, once again, we are going to be reviewing some amazing dog-related content from the internet. We're going to give our opinion on the matter. We're going to laugh. We're going to have a good time. We're going to point out where people make mistakes, and it should be a good time. So make sure to buckle up, strap in, and let's go for the ride. What? what? So first off, I don't actually think that that's funny. Uh, you got a six-year-old girl who obviously the Barbie's pretty important to her and uh, the mom's just filming it while the Rottweiler rips the head off. Hey, no big deal, right? Like, I can see how you think it's funny, but uh, how about we teach that dog a little out command, a little leave it command so the girl's not sitting there screaming. Video ends when I'm sure your daughter runs off crying and is pretty pissed off that the Rottweiler just ripped the head off her favorite Barbie doll. Right now, it's the Barbie doll. What if it's something else that uh, the dog's not supposed to have a hold of? You know, rather than film it, why don't you just get that dog to let go on command? That would be ideal, you know what I'm saying? Before somebody gets hurt. <laughs> First and foremost, that's completely unacceptable. That needs to stop yesterday. That dog has no business putting its mouth on that child or even on the child's clothing. At one point, it looks like it's almost biting the kid's hair. You're sitting there laughing and filming. We see no control over the dog. And then when the kid gets pulled off the couch, it almost face plants. Like you just got lucky in that equation, if you ask me. That, that's completely unacceptable. Your kid is not a chew toy and shouldn't be drug around the house. That's only gonna escalate or get worse. Imagine if the kid's legit trying to get away, making those same sounds, your dog thinks it's a joke and your, your dog could potentially bite the kid on his actual skin or on his neck and it ain't gonna be so funny. <laughs> That's exactly what you get around and find out. That dog hits you and you drop like a ton of bricks. The more you fuck around, the more you're gonna find out. First off, it's badass. That's a badass dog. Hit you with everything it had. But damn, man, did you not know that dog was inbound? I think that guy had no clue that dog was coming. I don't know if he got let loose early or someone didn't uh, say, hey, inbound, we got a dog coming so that that guy could prepare for it. But that's how dogs get their teeth ripped out. That's how they get their vertebra uh, all broken up. That's how uh, decoys get hurt. So, man, I mean, that's awesome. I'm happy you caught it on film, but let's try to be a little more careful and uh, let the decoy know that the dog is coming and try to catch those dogs a little better. So you gotta be on your A game or you, somebody's gonna get hurt. All right, so when people say that there's no such thing as dominance in dogs or in a dog pack or at a dog park, this is a perfect example of dominance. That Akita comes in like it means business, ready to throw down on that Dalmatian. Luckily, that Dalmatian was soft, not a dominant dog, and backed up really quickly. If that Dalmatian had just a little bit more dominance in it, that would have been a dog fight lickety split. It would have happened before you could have said stop. So we gotta be really careful. One more reason why we don't recommend dog parks. That was almost a dog fight. Furthermore, that Akita had no business uh, intercepting what that Dalmatian was doing. The Dalmatian was not doing anything wrong or sh asserting any dominance or rough housing at all. If I was there, I would have stepped in and let that Akita know absolutely unacceptable behavior. But guess what? I wouldn't have been there because I don't go to dog parks. Uh-uh, we ain't gonna be in no fire. Not the day. So simply put, that's badass. You know, I don't even begin to know how you teach that other than maybe make the skateboard a place board, but then I guess the dog's instincts take over and they figure out how to steer that thing. Super cool, I might have to try that out with Thanos. Uh, I have to get a much bigger one to make Thanos fit on it, but it actually looks pretty cool. I'm, I think that's awesome. You taught your, your dog how to do that. Uh, one more point for the pit bulls, they are super capable of doing uh, just about anything, including steering a damn skateboard. 
first off, I'd love to know where this is. Where do you have pit bulls and pigs roaming your front yard? And uh, lady with the cane, obviously the cane ain't working. So I actually feel bad for those pigs getting torn up. I wonder how you actually got those dogs off. It looks like that's not the first time they've done that. Those pigs belong on a farm first off and those pit bulls belong with some hunters. I, that's a, just a catastrophe right there. It's hysterical watching you try to break them up. At least you're trying to, but it obviously didn't work. You're not gonna break up pit bulls doing what pit bulls were bred to do by smashing your cane on the porch. Uh, it's kind of funny to watch, but I also feel really bad for those pigs. Actually, Steph, you mind making me a ham and cheese sandwich? Thank you. This is a work of So that's exactly what you get when you cross a Kangle with a polar bear. You get a breed called an Alibi. And that is just a beast of a dog. You need to get it a Coca-Cola and let it drink straight out of the bottle. That thing is a beast. I'm happy it's uh, well behaved. This guy obviously looks like he knows what he's doing, but the dog's paws are bigger than the guy's foot. That's a big ass animal. Um, I'd love to see Zach George train that positive only. First off, if you run out of treats, it might actually eat you. And secondly, if you put a harness on that dog and tried to pull back on it at all, you're gonna be going for a ride, a polar bear ride. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Hey folks, I hope you're having a great time. Just wanted to take a quick moment to remind you that we have other social media platforms. You wanna see more content like this. Also, we of course post our own content where we train dogs and do our own shenanigans. So make sure to like, share, subscribe, and check out those other videos. But without further ado, let's jump right back in and see what else the internet has for us today. Sometimes that helps if I hold her head. Gives this is traction. absolutely disgusting. You're gonna hold her head so she gets more traction while she's humping your leg. So this gets worse and worse. The dog keeps doing this and actually goes all the way till completion, meaning she lets her dog have an orgasm on her leg. This is taking pure positive training to a completely other level. It's disgusting. There is no reason on God's green earth that this needs to happen. Uh, the relationship this woman has with her dog is is not normal. It's very not normal. And to have this on film and her to think that this is that this is something you even would want to film is beyond me. It's disgusting. There's really not a lot of words to say behind this. That is not how you reward your dog. It's it's disgusting. There's just no other way to describe it. Now okay. here she actually has the dog do more obedience, and then rewards the dog's obedience with more humping and even says later on that the dog is not quite finished and goes ahead and lets the dog go all the way till the dog finishes. Nasty. You're a nasty lady. Get it. Drop. Get it. Oh yeah. Drop, twirl, get it. Drop, spin, get it. Drop, go legs, get it. Boom, ha <laughs> ha Drop, go around, get it. Boom. Drop, go circle, get it. Drop, get it. Drop, get it. Drop, get it. Drop. Twirl, get it. Drop, spin, get it. Drop the legs, get it. Boom. So it's just really beautiful dog training right there. Excellent control work. You can see that the dog does not bite until she gives the command to get it. She's even taunting the dog left and right. Dog knows not to bite the Frisbee. And that is really like the world's fastest out. And she gets about 10 outs in uh, almost less than 10 seconds. She probably has a lot to teach uh, the police canine community about outs. I mean, those are really beautiful outs. Now I'm not saying letting go of a Frisbee is the same as letting go of a crim criminal's leg in the middle of a, of a fight for your life, but it still shows a ton of control work, has done some great work with that dog, and, and it's a joy to watch, a lot of fun. You can see excellent communication, and they've been working on that for a long time. Got it down to a science, so great job. I'm trying to tell you all folks, those flexi leashes are straight garbage. They have almost zero application when it comes to training your dog. And in this case, my man went for the ride. You gotta be careful with those flexi leashes. I don't trust them, especially on a strong, looks like an 80 plus pound Rottweiler. 
and uh, he's hooked up to a harness. I mean, you're just asking for trouble. Zero control with the harness, coupled with zero control with a flexi leash equals catastrophe. Uh, luckily, it looks like he's all right, but just a just a pretty, kind of a sad thing to watch. Uh, how about we get a, a regular collar, and how about we use a six foot leash? You'd be better off. Why you would instigate that in filmment is beyond me. You mentioned that they're not even biting each other, but it's a nasty, nasty display of aggression that you started. That needs to be fixed and stopped. You know what? I'm not even gonna tell you how to train your dogs. You just shouldn't even own dogs. You're sitting there laughing and filming this. It's nasty, it's disgusting. You and your pickle. Lots went wrong here in this video. Uh, first and foremost, dog park. Oh! Ew! Don't take your dog there to the dog park because this stuff happens all day, every day. Number two, this woman has a 70 or 80 pound, what looks to be a pit bull on a harness. What a joke. You've had little to no control over that dog. The third thing, my guy with the beer, put the beer down and break up the dog fight it's ridiculous and then after the dog fights over why don't you get out of the dog park why are you gonna stand there and hang out with the dog up on your lap up on your on your shoulders like that you're lucky that people didn't climb up there and bite you in the face you guys got to get it together uh, it looks like you might been trying to get those dogs introduced well it didn't work out pretty good for you did it so uh, let's Let's be smarter the next time we do this and not go inside of a dog park and let's get these dogs on something other than a harness so you actually have control over them and put the beer down. Hey, hey. Reason number 1,362, to never take your dog to a dog park. Now, this guy looks like he's taking his dog to the dog park for the first time. He's got it on, guess what, a harness and a leash. Now, putting the leash on your dog is gonna restrict their movement a little bit, make them a little uneasy. You're actually better off just cutting the dog off leash completely. You'll have better luck without having the dog fight happen. The dog is contained on the leash, but that's not actually the full problem. The other problem is this other dog trying to dominate your dog. You didn't see it coming. I saw it coming a mile away. It just is a catastrophe. Uh, dog parks suck. That husky, which probably n did not have an ounce of dog-on-dog -dog aggression, is now going to be filled with it. One incident not only going to physically scar your dog for life, but mentally scar him for life, and now you have a leash-reactive dog. Guaranteed. Stop taking your dogs to dog parks. Well, folks, that's a wrap. Thanks for joining us on this Adventures in Dog Training, where we review content from the internet what we're going to ask you to do is if you don't mind if you come across some crazy dog related content whether it's funny whether it's scary whether it's exciting dramatic whatever it might be and you want us to go ahead and review it please tag us in it forward it to us message us with it or even email it to us at info at diyk9.com go ahead and include the link and maybe we'll go ahead and feature that video you sent us in the next episode so thanks again for watching we'll see you on the next one